What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Renell Jones II, and I'm back with another episode of How It Is Being a Musician in New York City. The last episode, I was in Phoenix, Arizona, so not exactly New York City, but I was flown out there to do a private event, and it was wonderful. The weather was great. I got a nice hotel. I got to try out two different gyms that I've never been to. And then, obviously, you know, the gig was really fun. And right after the gig, they invited me downstairs to the New Year's party where I got to celebrate New Year's. This episode, I'll actually be in New York City and I'll be playing something a little different than I normally play. So there's this wonderful saxophonist named Rico Jones. Yes, we do have the same last name, but we're not related. I met him when I was doing a little bit of time at Manhattan School of Music. Oh man, <laughs> I sound like I was locked up or something. <laughs> but yeah, he's a wonderful tennis saxophone player. He's gotten a few downbeat awards. We both studied under Vincent Herring, and we both have the same last name. We also both play in Philip Harper's band. So we've been talking a long time about doing a Jones Brothers performance. And we haven't ever gotten around to it, but today we're getting around to it. We're playing in Brooklyn at something else. That's what the spot is called. And it is called Brothers Jones. That's the event. You know, Rico Jones, Brunel Jones. There's also Victor Jones in the band. So it's going to be real fun. I look forward to it. So that's what this episode is about. Real quick, if you haven't watched the last two episodes, one was a story time talking about how I was shadow banned on Instagram. And the other one briefly mentioned it, but I have a backup account for you all to follow just in case I get banned. But I was informed through a notification that apparently my shadow ban is lifted finally on my main account. So I'm testing that out right now. I just uploaded a video on my Instagram. So we'll see how it does and how the numbers are. Anyways, I, I still want you all to follow the backup account just because if I somehow get another unfair strike on Instagram, which is what's been happening some unfair out of contact strikes, then I might actually get banned. So I want y'all to find, follow the backup account just so y'all can stay a loop in the loop. Plus the backup account, I'm always talking about more so my YouTube stuff anyway. And I think I'm gonna continue doing that on my backup account. I'm dressed in this, obviously. I'm about to go to the gym, doing some legs today. Y'all about to see some gym footage as always. Real quick though, I have an announcement to make. My band is my band with my music. It's playing in Brooklyn on February 10th, and I want you all to be there. If you live in New York City, or if you live near New York City, or if you're traveling to New York City in that time, February 10th, check out the link in the description below. It has the ticket prices to come see my band February 10th in Brooklyn. I'm also supposed to fly right here. It's going to be a wonderful show. I'm playing. There's also going to be a singer. And this singer is on my new album. Once again, playing music that I wrote because I'm starting to write more lyrical music. And so you get to see this singer. You also get to see us perform two songs with another singer. It's going to be great. So if you can make it, please click the link, buy tickets. The tickets cost a little bit more at the door. So I recommend you buying it online. All right, let's get to our day. We're taking bulk into a new level. Right, Lila? She agrees. Look how empty my gym gets. I just love that. I don't have to wait for any equipment. Look at that. Dang, I guess no leg curls today. Dang. All right, I just got back from the gym. It's raining like crazy. I didn't check the weather today, so I didn't even know it was gonna rain like that. But real quick, check out this flyer that Rico made for the event tonight. Just check it out. Isn't it cool? It's so nice and vintage. He, 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 he makes real good flyers for his shows. I dig it. All right, I'm about to warm up and shed a little bit. I have about an hour until I need to get ready. So after doing this, I'm a shower get ready to go to this gig one of the songs that we're playing tonight is a tune called one for prez um uh, old bebop tune i've always heard it 
but I've never actually played it. And once I learned it, I, I was learning it a little while ago. I was like, this is the hardest bebop melody I've definitely had to learn. It's, it's hard to play. If y'all haven't heard it, it goes like this. <laughs> Just took a shower, getting ready. We're wearing suits tonight. It's really cold. It's January in New York City, so you know I'm gonna put on the turtleneck instead of the regular white collar shirt. You dig? I didn't get much footage because it's raining, but I think the entrance is here. Yeah, Rico told me I gotta go down here. What an interesting way to get to a club. Here we go. Now we're here. This is a real nice venue. Here early. Can't wait to start. This is the fit. Come on now. I guess I won't be able to fit a bunch of Lunchables in, in these bathrooms. Dang.
right, just finished the show. It was a wonderful show. It was really fun playing with Rico, playing with the whole Jones crew, especially playing with Oregon. I love B3 Oregon. So I'm about to sign out. I'm about to go see my boy Jason Carter at Smalls because it's only like 10 o'clock, so plenty of time to see a lot more live music. Peace. All right, everybody, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I just have a couple of announcements to make. Buy tickets to my show on February 10th or else. Now, seriously, if you're in New York, if you're traveling to New York, buy tickets. My band is playing. My band is going to be playing a lot more this year. We're working on an album. You get to hear music that no one else has heard yet because it's new album music. Buy tickets. The next video I'm making will most likely be what I talked about a couple videos ago. I'm going to do a video showcasing the jam sessions in New York City. I'm going to go to three back-to-back -back jam sessions, and you're going to see what it's like. There are endless amounts of jam sessions in New York City, which makes it different from any other city. So I'm going to document those. I cannot wait. You all have a good one. Please comment. Please like it. Please share this with people. Share this with other musicians. I think this is a great series. People are starting to like the series. And so please share this with your other musician friends. All right. Have a good one.